know Darling Corey? No, not really. <laughs> you don't know the line where she's sitting on the banks of the sea with a 44 all around her and a banjo on her knee? Probably not. I've heard of it before. I know it's out there. It's out there. Yeah. It's an oldie. Yeah. There's a lot of them. You know, um, geez, I guess I could spend the rest of my life learning all them songs I don't know, but sometimes oh, yeah, right. I just like to play. Yeah, <laughs> I'm with you. One of my best friends is a banjo player. I play a little mandolin and a few other instruments, but uh, so, I love my banjo players. So you admit to knowing a, and loving a banjo I do. player? You know, I do. There's probably a law against that. Well, I just my uncle was just saying, you know, it kind of creates its own buffer around you. Right. Well, <laughs> For you know, those who either are in or out. They have open carry banjo here in Maine now. You know that, right? That's why I'm out here today. I'm exercising my, my rights. Or freedom, freedom of picking. Yeah. Uh, you missed me yesterday. I had my uh, Boone, Boone, North Carolina shirt on that said, Paddle Faster, I hear banjo music. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, well, that's pretty much why I'm here is to you know, throw heart, throw terror into the hearts of tourists and <laughs> things like that. Well, you ain't going to scare me away. Yeah, you said something about North Carolina. You from down there? No, no. My I, my, my parents were down visiting friends of theirs yeah. down there. Yeah. They brought me back. They knew that I play a little bluegrass and whatnot. They was like, "Well, we yeah. got one for you." you and go. I wear that as I wear that with pride whenever uh -huh. I'm seeing my friends. Yeah, I, I got it. You know, uh, we spend uh, winters in Georgia, mm -hmm. and boys down there with the big four wheel drive trucks mm -hmm. always want to run over me in my yeah, little right. Prius. <laughs> so I got a sticker for the back window that says "Banjo Player <laughs> on, on Board,", board. <laughs> just so they know, you know, to treat right, me with respect. Because you treat know, if we had an accident and I rolled out of there and whipped out a banjo, well. <laughs> Just imagine the looks on their faces. Eh? Oh, don't kill him! Oh, jeez, look Pull him out. out of the car, he's a bad We better player. run. <laughs> yeah, well, you made me happy when I saw you with the banjo out here. Thank you. I've been wanting to do this for years. You know, um, I retired a while back. I used to come down here from time to time, but every time I did, I thought, geez, I wish I'd have brought a banjo. Cause, yeah, right. You know, you got a little spot like oh, this totally. surrounded by rock and yeah. shade, and it's like, I wonder what a banjo would sit. What sounds sound good. Like. Right here, you know. So. Sounds good. So we just had down there. I thought, well, I'm, I'm going to take that banjo. Cause then I set this camera up just so I could prove it. Because, you know, it's one thing to tell people I was down on film. I, I got I to gotta get you a picture because my, my banjo playing friend. We, where, where are you I from? Talk, well, I'm from Alaska. Well, you got Alaska on yeah, your that's, shirt there. That's for real. That's where I live. Well, that's for real country. That's for real. There. I got friends in Alaska. Dude, of course you do. You're a banjo player. <laughs> I'm just going to get a picture of you playing some banjo, and my my girlfriend will be super happy. She'll say, of course you found a banjo player, because that's how you roll. <laughs> yeah. That's how you roll. Yeah. That's great. That's, you know what? It is great. I mean, this is a, it's a beautiful country. I've never been here. I've never been to me. This is probably... Most people consider this to be the most beautiful place in Maine, which really? might make it one of the most beautiful places in the yeah, world. However, nice. I know Alaska's it's full of good. beautiful places. It's pretty good. You know, I, I've got a, a couple. I used to work for this lady, and she's up in Alaska right now. And I don't know what they're doing, but they're putting up all these gorgeous pictures yeah. of gorgeous places. We're fortunate people. Yeah. We live high on the hog. Yeah. It, I mean, it's really true. Yeah. So. Yeah. Good not thanks. for everybody, though. Huh? It's not for everybody. Well, there's, there's, point, there's some truth in that. I mean, yeah. And if everybody was here, it'd ruin it. Yeah. Uh, it's best It's best left for those who's willing to make the long drive down that long, crookedy road to that's get right. here, right? That's right. Yeah, good, bad road is often your best friend. Yeah. Keep all them suckers out. Well, that's why I've always been <laughs> against widening the interstate that leads into the state here, because I feel like if people want to get into the state, they ought to suffer a little bit. <laughs> oh, I'm with you. Don't you agree? I am with you. Honestly. Ever since they made our road better, it's only made it worse. Yeah. Because they just drive faster, and there's more of them that come down. Well, I've heard of people driving to Alaska with gas tanks strapped to the back of their vehicle oh, and yeah. things like that. So yeah. What the heck is that? Air brakes. I guess. Okay. Either that or they just open up the air compressor all the way to bleed it out. My wife wants to go. That's her in the yellow over there, balancing on them rocks there. But she's talked about wanting to go to Alaska for it's a big quite place. a long time. And I like your strap. That was my original uh, mandolin yeah. strap. Nice piece of boat line. Thank you. <laughs> well, I, I can prove it, but I'm, I'm, she's going to be sorely sad that you don't know Darling Corey. And I do think you, you're going to need to find it. 
Cause you can, uh, you can be sitting down here being a banjo on your knee. I seem to remember there was a group called something with a nickel in it that, that did a song called Darling Corey and they had an amazing bass player. And it was a lady that sang. You know what I'm talking about? You know uh, talking like about? like Nickel Creek or Nickel whatever. Creek. Yeah. yeah. And they did right. they did Darling Corey and I, I remember hearing it on radio one night and I liked it enough to go buy an album so I could hear it. Did again. you uh, you you know I do you know the Seldom Scene? Well, I, I tell you a story. Well, I don't, I don't know them, but I parked in the same truck stop with them yeah. about 40 years ago one night. We came out of this little, just back when they just invented the interstates. Uh -huh. We was in this little mud hole of a truck stop one night, and I came up, and there was a bus sitting there, and it said, Sell the Sell scene. And it right across the top, and I thought, I bet that's somebody. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's where I, I learned that they played that song. They've been playing it forever. I'm and, related uh, to this lady right here, by the way. So oh, we're, we're well, relatives. He got a good man because he brought his band. Well, he's my brother-in-law. My sister's over there. Well, I'm giving him kudos for bringing his banjo down here and yeah, whipping everybody figured, into shape. Maybe we would get some money for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> I don't you know, see your case. You know, though. this guy drove all the way from Alaska to hear me play. <laughs> yeah, it was a long drive. We took the high road and then we got in in the car. But. I always like it when the children peek around the corner to see what that noise is. Yeah, right. Children well, sure aren't afraid of banjo. No. It's what, just adults. What, what's your name? TJ. You want to be on YouTube? Uh, well, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Everybody, this is TJ. He's from Alaska. And, and he's here he appreciating the banjo at the ocean. He drove all the way from Alaska just to have a conversation with me about banjos and stuff. Now, what does that mean when you made that little funny hand sign? Because I, I do. That's like a Hawaiian I, hang loose. Well, see, I, I do that, but that's because I got arthritis in my fingers. <laughs> I see a lot of young fellas doing that. I don't figure they got arthritis. The carpal but, tunnel, yeah. Yeah. It's from yeah. the sanding this morning. Well, we've all had the carpal tunnel oh, operations nice. already. <laughs> well, you're doing good. What's your name? Richard. Richard. Yeah. You're making my day because not everybody comes with a band to the ocean, but I appreciate it. Well, thank you. Thank you. And it's a brave man that'll admit that in public. Oh, this is your honey babe. Well, she's honey babe. Right. <laughs> she loves a banjo player. Yeah, I do. We, we oh, make nice it. to meet you. Nice to meet Honey, you. Honey, he's from he's from Alaska. Oh, yeah, you are from Alaska. I, I right told him. I told him he wanted to go there. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah. We live right outside of Glacier Bay National Park. Oh, good place. Yeah, we're in the little gateway town what, of Glacier what Bay. What took you there? Oh, geez, that's a long story. That was like ah! 25 years ago, I went to go years. do some carpentry for a friend, and yeah. well, let's just say it was a summer job that never ended. Is that right? <laughs> Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you get up there, and it kind of get in, it kind of gets in there. A summer job that never ended. That's yeah. kind of how I got to Maine. Yeah, you know, either it's either grows, it's like a banjo. You kind of either like it or you don't. And I would, I mean, I would never wish like it on Maine. anybody. I mean, you know, Maine has such a Except summer. that behind this, you can see some big ass mountains. Yeah. <laughs> with the glaciers falling out of them, you know. So. Yeah. Years ago, I taught her this song, Darling Corey, which is about a, a gal, Darling Corey, who she had moonshine still, of course, because that's his banjo song. And uh, of course, uh, they, they found Darling Corey sitting by the banks of the sea with a 44 all around her, a banjo on her knee. So when I saw him show up with the banjo, I thought, man, if he knows Darling Corey, I'm going to get him to play it. Send a little, I just took a picture from my friend James. He's a lovely, lovely gal. If you want to, if you want to point at him while he does that little hand clap well, thing, I'll do my little, uh, I'll, uh, <laughs> it's, it's running right now.
Understand that I, you know, I'm like, go to Walmart, get a new pair of sunglasses. Yeah. I keep breaking all my reading glasses, and I find that you just take a propane torch, and get a hot knife, <laughs> and you get this knife really blazing hot, like you stick it in between there, and you confuse well with it. Really? I'm not kidding. I never tried that. <laughs> Don't be telling them this stuff. You need to go now. <laughs> <laughs> Shit done. We don't talk about how we make it happen. That's right. That's what a real man does, right? That's right. We make it happen. We didn't have problems. We need more of it. Pete Seeger is great, right? You know, Pete Seeger played like this. Up here? Yeah. Yeah, it gives. It gives me an arm ache to think about playing like PC. Well, <laughs> you notice I got kind of a short neck banjo here going yeah, from kind of cool. have to reach way up here to reach. And it doesn't it. look as heavy as the heavy ones. Well, this is a this is, is a George good? C. Dawson built about 1902-ish or oh, something yeah. like that. That's a beauty. Over in Boston. That's a Actually, this is it's not like a Dawson. This is the uh, like Lion Healy. Yes, yeah, 45. Yeah, no, uh, those are those are nine millimeter. I shaved are, them down. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my, that's my homemade tone ring in the back. Yeah. You ever seen Stromberg cup of phone? It has them little bells in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They cost you about two or three thousand dollars. That is a beautiful thing. This didn't thing. cost me nearly that much. No, no. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> I forgot. This isn't my Dawson. That's my other favorite banjo. This is my old Lion and Healy. This is the ladies' banjo, parlor oh banjo. Oh my God. They made them little so they could slip them in up under their parts there. Yeah, yeah have it hanging over. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I loved him in spite of it. Well, write your name and address on something. We might do so. I'll put money. Uh, I will. Somebody's got something. I'm not kidding. You can I got. I can put it in my contacts. You put it in your phone. Take your camera. You, you hold <laughs> because, that. I'll hold this. I, if I put Alaska. We won't put this part on the YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you what. You bring your banjo if you come to Alaska, though. Do well, not come without it. I, I never go anywhere without it, almost. Hard to go anywhere without it. it. I go everywhere with my banjo. Okay. All right, I'm TJ. Here, you want me to do it? Sure. Just put it. Wait, this is why I bring both yeah. of these, because I can't see the damn thing anymore. You look up Tramrick. What? That's the name of our band. Tramrick. Right. Tram. Can you put that under company Tramrick. name? Yeah. Tramrick. I feel the Alaska coming on. 
I'm telling you what, it wouldn't be the worst thing you ever did. You don't want to wait. Well, you know, of course, there you go. It's got my phone number. Okay. And I wrote Gustavus, Alaska, Bluegrass, Tramrack. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I got 61 Chrysler Newport red in the body shop getting the body work done. I told her if we could sell that, we could use that money to go to Alaska. Well, you can come up and drive my 66 Ford F-250 when you get there. <laughs> <laughs> Just let him go. He just, no matter what I come up with, he I'm just, just saying, up, man, you come, come with me. Come with me. Can you come up. You like fishing? Can you, can you yeah. remember <laughs> R-P-E-E-K, R-Peak? R-Peak. Yeah. I can't. You, I have a thing called a notepad. If you go to YouTube, <laughs> If you go to YouTube and type in R Peak, you're gonna you're gonna find me and you're gonna you're gonna find we're gonna get all friended up. You're gonna find this video of me and you on YouTube in probably about a week because I've got some other videos I'm putting up first. But if you if you just put in R P R P E A K? No, two E's. P E E K. Like I are taking a peek at that big house. R Peak. Like that? Like Peek a boo. R Peak. Peek a boo. R P E E K. See if you look today you'll see me pulling the motor out of a rat rod car but i mean if you look in a couple of weeks i'll probably see a video of you and be in there and if, <laughs> if your email address or anything is in here i can send you an email once you do that uh, yeah yeah i'll throw it in you still in there yeah i'll throw you an email i'm telling you i'm not joking you come up we'll take care of you well we love to be taken care of that's what we do. Who's taking care so of you while you're in Maine? Trip to Alaska That'd be yes. my uncle up there, ah, and his okay. wife, and my wife. is <laughs> You're running around doing what you well, like to do. Uh, we did. We invite you over, but we're taking care of her right now. Yeah. She came up from the Cape because they don't have places like this down there to get to right away from the traffic jam, right? It's me right there. It's a simple one. T J Lazar at Gmail. Okay. Yeah, you, Pretty easy. You just gave her. I just put it in there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, right. And, I, and you got my tram rack. And don't confuse us for the Swedish band that's a heavy metal, death metal band. Because there is a tram wreck in Sweden. So it's not train wreck, it's nope. tram. Yeah, see, we have a tram over in Juneau that goes up the mountainside and takes all the people up there. And when we play music every once in a while, you know how it goes after a little while in the night. There's a wreck. Anytime you, anytime, <laughs> Somewhere. There's some place there's a wreck in the... Anytime you have more than one... In musical instrument oh, yeah, playing at the same time. You have to have musical ability. That's why I'm sitting under a rock here yeah, at Pimico yeah. where there ain't no other musical instruments around. Yeah. I don't have enough musical ability to play well, you know, at the same time in the same direction and hit the same notes I know the as feeling, other but people. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Because if I believed that, I would have stopped playing a long time ago. I found it always got easier to play with people. As long as you just remember we're all playing, you don't have to do the whole thing. It's like a lot of the hands on a rope makes the work a lot easier. Well, okay then. Yeah. Well, if but I come you, up there, you can you whip do. out your mandolin and we'll just give it a try. Whip out whatever instrument's We'll available. sit there with some, you know, we'll make a we'll make a YouTube video of some oh, yeah. Alaskan scene in the background. There's a few tram wreck videos out there. Tram wreck? Yeah. On YouTube? Yeah, and I should I should put Tanya's name on there too, because you should check out Tanya. Cause that girl can play. What do you need? Yeah, I'm going to put one more little note on there for you. I'll put this note right here. Awesome. I, wa was, I want to get the hit up. I got the R Peak. R Peak. Yep. And uh, I'll check it out. This is Honey Baby. That's Honey <laughs> Baby's sister. 
<laughs> well, you guys are good for taking care of this man. Not everybody can love a banjo player. <laughs> yeah, well, you must be worth loving. Yeah, well, it's, it's our, obviously there's some serious deficiency in the thinking department, but she I overcame know, it. Yeah. I don't know. I Maybe my rakish good looks. I, say, I don't know. I don't know what you're thinking, but I'm not going to fight it. <laughs> All right, okay, good then. to talk, you guys. It's a pleasure. You're awesome. I'll see you uh, when. Couple well, years, you know, uh, while you're in Maine, you're welcome to come visit us. Uh, Louise is going home Monday, so we just, yeah, I'm going to be working. Up. We're here all the time, except uh, for here. Huh? But we're always up there. You're always up. In, in Alaska. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, talking, about, I'm talking yeah, about while you're here. Short, this is a short duration deal. How long are you going to be around here? <laughs> we're we're heading back on Tuesday. Okay. So well. it's a little short visit. Yeah. So. Be careful out there. How bad could it be? Well, it depends on. <laughs> I'm not really worried. I mean, when I go out there, you're worried about, like, is your bear out the door? I mean, I mean, I mean, getting back. Do you like jump up into Canada and go across, or do you no, fly on a big we, airplane? No, we distinctively left our passport at home for a reason. Uh, okay. So, okay. <laughs> okay. so I wouldn't do that. Okay. Is he regaling you with guys with the last <laughs> story? Yeah. We just tell them all kinds of lies. Don't tell them shit. Don't tell them. Okay, we'll see you when you come up there. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Long nice to meet you. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Have a safe trip home. Bye. Mercy sakes, we done made a new friend here, y'all. I heard tell you, honey. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs>